Have you ever wondered if there could be unconventional solutions to mental health conditions? Psychedelics like LSD, psilocybin from magic mushrooms, and MDMA have long held a captivating allure. Beyond their reputation for inducing profound, consciousness-altering experiences, there's been a resurgence of interest in their potential therapeutic applications. Imagine, if you will, a world where a single dose of psilocybin could significantly alleviate depression and anxiety in patients grappling with life-threatening cancer. Picture a reality where MDMA-assisted therapy could help those suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder process their trauma more effectively than traditional treatments. This isn't the stuff of science fiction. It's the focus of cutting-edge research happening right now at institutions like Johns Hopkins University and the Multidisciplinary Association for Psychedelic Studies. The potential of psychedelics is not just about altering consciousness, but altering lives for the better. So, it's time we start considering the unconventional and delve into the world of psychedelic drugs. The journey of psychedelic drugs has been nothing short of fascinating. For years, these substances, including LSD, psilocybin from magic mushrooms, and MDMA, have captivated researchers and the public with their ability to profoundly alter consciousness. But it's not all about vibrant visions and transcendent trips. The spotlight is now shifting from fascination to therapeutic potential. Recent studies, like those at Johns Hopkins University, are beginning to illuminate the potential of these substances. Imagine a single dose of psilocybin significantly reducing depression and anxiety in patients facing life-threatening cancer. Think about the sustainable change it could bring, potentially improving their quality of life during such challenging times. Likewise, MDMA-assisted therapy has shown promise for post-traumatic stress disorder treatment, helping patients process trauma more effectively than conventional methods. This has led to considerable reduction in PTSD symptoms, offering a glimmer of hope to those suffering. The results, though preliminary, are indeed promising and give us hope. However, the path to harnessing the potential of psychedelic drugs is not without its hurdles. There's no doubt that the therapeutic benefits of psychedelics are promising, but we must acknowledge the challenges that lie ahead. Pioneers in this field must grapple with unanswered questions about dosage, treatment protocols, safety measures, and long-term effects. For instance, what is the ideal dosage that can induce a therapeutic effect without causing undue harm? How do we standardize treatment protocols to ensure safety and efficacy across different populations? What safety measures should be in place to prevent misuse and abuse of these drugs? And perhaps the most critical question of all, what are the long-term effects of these therapies? These are not easy questions to answer. They require rigorous scientific investigation, collaboration, and time. Yet, they are essential to address if we want to unlock the full potential of psychedelic therapies. It's clear that there's much to learn and understand before these therapies can become commonplace. Psychedelic drugs are not a miracle cure, but they could provide a new perspective. Remember, these potent tools aren't a quick fix for mental health disorders. They demand careful use under controlled conditions and professional supervision. Psychedelic therapy often requires extensive preparation, support, and integration work. It's not merely about taking a pill or a dose. It's about creating a safe and nurturing environment, establishing a trusted relationship between the patient and the therapist, and guiding the patient through the therapeutic process. Post-therapy, it's about helping the patient to integrate their experiences into their everyday life, promoting long-lasting change and healing. But our understanding of these tools is still evolving. We need to continue investing in research and education in this field. We need to answer questions about dosage, treatment protocols, safety measures, and long-term effects. By continuing to explore and invest in this field, we may be able to offer new hope to those struggling with severe mental and emotional challenges. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.